Well, wonderful. Alejandro Cremendez, right? Close. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Close. <laughs> well, well the, the website's more important, right? It's rockthepost.com, right? Absolutely. Uh, well, it, it's just a wonderful idea. I mean, anybody, I mean, you, you know, to, to help entrepreneurs in this country create new stuff, man, you're doing God's work. So how'd you start this thing? Well, we actually, we founded the company in 2010. Um, full time in this business. Yeah, it's been, it's been quite some time. We actually, we founded the company prior to even the world of crowdfunding being born. So, um, so yeah, so we locked ourselves for about a year. And after one year of intense development, then we were able to finally launch the platform, which people can look up today, which is rockthepost.com. So we started operating on the donation model. Essentially what we started doing was crowdfunding for startups. And we helped the startups to raise money from donations from, from people that they believe in the project or like their project or like the compelling story. And, and what we're going to be doing next, next week, starting March 5th, we are actually going to be launching the investment crowdfunding portion oh, of it. So you're so, going to be SEC regulated now or what? Uh, somehow, so just to put it in context, uh, right now, prior to the Jobs Act, funding portals are not able to operate. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to be doing it is via Regulation D, and we're going to be doing it in partnership with uh, with Bendigo Securities, which is a broker dealer that is registered with FINRA. So that's the way we're going to be shifting now from the donation model to the investment model. So will you have both then on your site? You will, you could uh, donate to entrepreneurs and, and get some, you know, whatever it is they're offering or investment, invest in other entrepreneurs and, and have a piece of the action. Is that right? So the main difference between donation and investment is what you get in exchange for the monetary contribution. So um, before on, on the site that we've been operating since 2011, people would get the people that would give a monetary contribution would get a gift, a reward, let's say a t-shirt, a, a bicycle, if, they, if they, it, was, it was a company that produced bikes. Uh, but now with the, with the investment model, people would be getting a percentage of ownership in the company. Wow. So um, basically what we're going to be doing is the long-term vision that we initially had since 2010 when we founded the company was to do investments. But we couldn't do so due to the regulatory framework right. that we were operating with and we were very restricted um, very restricted with that so uh, we are actually going to be dropping the donation and moving forward with oh I see so no more donations uh, and just pure investing in entrepreneurs and getting a piece of the action huh? absolutely well there were say uh, two massive uh, gaps that we saw in the market one for the entrepreneurs that were struggling first to get the financing and then the second one for the investors uh, obviously if you were trying to get uh, in in front of a really good deal if you were not Reed Hoffman or Ron Conway there was no way that you could uh, do so because you need to be uh, somehow connected to any one of the funding members uh, of the of the startup otherwise it's tough to to get in front of the deal so what we're going to be doing now is that we are giving that possibility to get in front of very Everybody, high quality yeah. deals in front of everyone. Obviously now it's in front of the accredited investors, uh, which are the ones that are able to, to participate in, in private offerings in the U.S. These are people that are making 200000 uh, in terms of a, a salary on a yearly basis. But now with the Jobs Act, once the Jobs Act kicks in, uh, um, Title III refers to non-accredited investors to also be able to, to participate. So hopefully when that happens, 2014 or 2015, because there's going to be some delay, uh, then non-accredited investors will also be able to participate in private offerings. So uh, I lost a little bit of that, but in other words, your investment funding section now is only for professional investors or for open market? Right now, it's only for professional investors. So uh, when we say professional investors, we say accredited investors. So it means that you're either making over 200000 on a yearly basis in terms of salary or with your spouse combined, it's 300000 on a yearly basis or you have $1 million in assets. Now, I mean, that sounds like somebody who wants to get a green card from another country being an, an investor in the United States. <laughs> but this is just for investing on your site, right? This is for investing on our side or if you want to purchase any type of securities on, other, on any other online funding. Approach. I see. So that's the requirement now 
for being able to purchase securities on an online site. Is that what you're saying? That's correct. Well, if, if you want to be part of any private offering in the U.S., you need to be an accredited investor. I see. That's uh, due to the to the current uh, legal framework right. that we're operating. Right. So the, the Jobs Act uh, that was signed into law by Obama in April of last year, right. what it really changes and amends is the laws that were established in the 1930s that mm -hmm. they essentially are the ones that we're dealing with. So once the Jobs Act kicks in, then funding portals will be able to operate without having to be a broker uh, dealer or uh, also uh, non-accredited investors that are not making that amount of money, which is 200000 or over, which is just 1% of the U.S. population, would be able to operate as well. Ah, so then, uh, and this is by when, next year, you say? Well, the deadline of the Jobs Act, once the Jobs Act was uh, signed into law, uh, the Congress instructed the SEC to draft the regulations. Right. And the deadline was supposed to be January of this year, 2013. But right. with uh, all the changes in the SEC now, Mary Shapiro, the chairwoman, leaving, um, obviously there's going to be delays. Right. Uh, we, we expect that it's going to happen probably 2014 or 2015, but we don't see... My, my personal opinion, I don't think it's going to be a possibility in 2013. Yeah. So in other words, so soon it'll be open. I don't have to be a registered investor making 200 grand or uh, uh, to be able to invest, but that won't be a year. That's a year or two out, you feel. That's going to be once the uh, SEC again issues the regulations. And once the SEC issues the regulations, so none are credit are able to be part of private offerings. There's also going to be limitations. So if you're making under 100,000, then you're only going to be able to invest 5% of your income. If nice. you're making over 100,000, the limitation establishes 10% of your income oh, only. To wow. Now, is that under the year. new laws coming or is that the current laws, the, the 5 and 10%? That's the, that's, the, that's the laws that are, that are coming with Jobs Act, okay, that's, which that's introduces the, the non-accreds because right now non-accreds are out of the okay so so now then you're right now are you doing the private investing or not we're actually going to be launching this next week okay next week so, and so and so, to participate in that i have to be a registered investor and how do i do that with the sec or what no no you don't need to be a registered investor you need to be an accredited investor so in and order to qualify accredited. as an accredited investor that's correct. So in order to qualify, you need to make $200,000 in salary or over that amount mm -hmm. on a yearly basis. So you don't need and, and do you, to pass any type well, of registration. Do you qualify me or who qualifies me that I do that? Well, you would be a, a covering, you would be actually completing questionnaires that we have on our site. I and then also when you, when you make the, the investment on the, or when you try to make the investment on the company itself, I see. Okay. Our, uh, our broker dealer partner would be doing a background check to make sure that you pass all the... So I don't have to go to some agency to get this recommendation. It's all done on your site. That's, that's correct. Well, let me ask you another thing. Why is it different from a... Uh, if I go down my broker's office and, and buy stocks, why, why don't they check my income? Because they're a broker and buying from you is direct from the company versus a broker. Is that it? So the way it works really is that someone would come to us. We have um, high quality startups. So obviously this is probably something that you might not be able to get anywhere else. Uh, and also when, when you go and uh, and I you see. participate and, and, and you try to get involved in those private offerings as a, you know, even if you're a startup putting your offering or being an investor, there is certain background checks that you're going to, to need to I pass see. Right. To, I see. to make sure so if my broker, like, now I could be through your site, I, I could more likely get into the next uh, uh, Facebook deal <laughs> and not well, have to know somebody, know somebody. That's, that's correct. That's correct. Back in the days, in the offline investments, you needed to know someone that was involved with the company or with the deal. And, and now, you know, you are. Ah, I see. So you're opening it up for more people. And so right now, it's people with incomes of, of 200,000 or more that can participate on your site in that part of it. Are you keeping the, uh, uh, the other uh, function going or not? You mean the donations? Yeah. 
the donations were dropping it because the donations gave us uh, the possibility to first to understand the industry of crowdfunding inside and out. Uh -huh. But our vision was always to get involved in investments. So uh, obviously now we're just going to be dropping it and moving forward with the investment. Okay. So uh, so right now, so when we promote your site, then it's just as like, hey, you know, if you're a fat cat <laughs> and we get it on the ground floor of some new hot new stock, this is the place that you don't have to know somebody and, and be on Wall Street go, going to lunch with these guys to get it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just as uh, simple as coming to our site, seeing the deals and, you know, so self uh, certifying yourself as an accredited investor. Right. And then once that's done and you pass the, the background checks that you can become an investor in the company. Right. <laughs> well, well, actually, I love some of your uh, things you had on for the crowdfunding. I mean, like those uh, <laughs> those chairs, those cocoon chairs or whatever they are. Uh, where are they on? Of? They're wonderful. I fell in love with those as soon as I saw that. Where's that so, from? So that's, that's the Hush uh, project. That's uh, a project that we've, uh, we're actually very proud of. So, um, you know, the, the, the person needed the, to, to get to $5,000, I believe it was. Uh -huh. And in order to be able to go into, uh, into production and to, and to research further, you know, how to um, mass produce this type of cheese. And, and she was able to accomplish her goal. So essentially what she got was, uh, donations in the, on her project. So now what we're going to be launching next week is the possibility not only for people to be part of it somehow, but also to be investors. Oh, so now she's going so over to the next phase like place. you. <laughs> oh, they are wonderful. I mean, just a beautiful design. Speaking of design, you're from Spain, you told me earlier, right? Yes. And that, correct. I, mean, I see wonderful designs coming out of that country. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, we don't have that sense for some reason. Even now, I, I do a lot of shopping at De Segal. Is that how you pronounce it? De Segal, the clother? The, are you yes, not? correct. De yeah. Correct. And yeah, I just well. love their stuff. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my no, wife, I go crazy. I go up to New York and go to the stuff. But I'm taking pictures of all the stuff and showing my wife, hey, which one you want? Which one you want? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some good stuff coming out. Yeah. But so it's no, and, uh, no more, I, uh, pardon me? Sorry. No, please go ahead, Matthew. Okay. I, so no more crowdfunding, but now your site, you know, Rock the Post is really a place to be a inside on the next, you know, uh, Facebook deal or whatever the heck it is. And, and, and you don't have to be in the same crowd and <laughs> to be yeah, able so, to take advantage of it. So you're opening so, up the world to this. So, yeah, we are basically democratizing yeah. the way financing is done in startups. And and basically what we're doing now next week is we're, we're transforming our site from being a donation crowdfunding platform to being an investment crowdfunding Yeah, platform. well, that's wonderful. I mean, it certainly needed more. I mean, I feel everybody wins more the more we get rid of the hocus pocus <laughs> and the backroom <laughs> dealing, you know. Uh, sunshine has to help everybody. <laughs> absolutely absolutely yeah well thank you so much alejandro thank you for being there it's a great company and i love those chairs <laughs> thank you so much matthew it was a pleasure speaking with you